Today I'm going to tell you about Black History Month. Black History Month, also known as African American History Month in the U.S., is an annual observance in Canada, Ireland, the Netherlands, the United Kingdom, and the United States. It began as a way for remembering important people and events in the history of the African diaspora. The precursor to Black History Month was created in 1926 in the United States when historian Carter G. Woodson and the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History announced the second week of February to be Negro History Week. This week was chosen because it coincided with the birthday of Abraham Lincoln on February 12th and of Frederick Douglass on February 14th, both of which states black communities had celebrated together since the late 19th century. Black History Month was first proposed by black educators and the Black United Students at Kent State University in February of 1969. The first celebration of Black History Month took place at Kent State one year later from January 2nd, 1970 to February 28th, 1970. Black History Month was first celebrated in the United Kingdom in 1987. It was organized through the leadership of Ghanaian analyst Akayaba Ade Sabo, who had served as coordinator of special projects for the Greater London Council, the GLC, and created a collaboration to get it underway. It was first celebrated in London. In 1995, after a motion by politician Jean Augustine, representing the riding of Edobacake, Lakeshore in Ontario, Canada's House of Commons, officially recognized February as Black History Month and honored Black Canadians. In 2008, Senator Donald Oliver moved to have the Senate officially recognize Black History Month, which was unanimously approved. In 2014, the Republic of Ireland became the only the fourth country in the world to officially celebrate Black History Month. Ireland's Great Hunger Institute notes Black History Month in Ireland was initiated in Cork in 2010. This location seems particularly appropriate as in the 19th century, the city was a leading center of abolition and the male and female anti-slavery societies welcomed a number of black abolitionists to lecture there, including Charles Lennox Bremen and Frederick Douglass. Black History Month often sparks an annual debate about the continued usefulness and fairness of a designated month dedicated to the history of one race. Criticisms include questions over whether it is appropriate to confine the celebration of black history to one month as opposed to integration of black history into the mainstream education the rest of the year. Another criticism is that contrary to the original inspiration for Black History Month, which was a desire to redress the manner in which American schools failed to represent black historical figures as anything other than slaves or colonial subjects. Black History Month reduces complex historical figures to overly simplified objects of hero worship. Other critics refer to the celebration as racist. Actor and director Morgan Freeman and actress Stacey Dash have criticized the concept of declaring only one month as Black History Month. Freeman noted, I don't want a Black History Month. Black history is American history. Black History Month reminds us that we need to be aware of the beauty of African American culture as well as teaching our children not to be racist. We have to remember the long history of black people in the United States. White people should educate themselves about African American culture and history and help spread the message of anti-racism. Thank you for watching this Adventurous Kids episode.